SEO has changed so much in the past 12 months. It's no longer enough just to write high quality content and get backlinks. You need to make sure you're evolving your SEO techniques to get your website and maybe even your client's website found in the next 12 months. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through six advanced SEO techniques, which has been based upon my experience of working on over 20,000 websites and looking into the future, looking at how AI, generative engine optimization and LLMs are going to impact SEO. Now, the first advanced SEO tip that I'm going to give you is make sure that you get featured in industry listicles. And to give you an example, if I search for the best SEO agency in London on ChatGPT and look at the sources, you can see that the top source and many of the sources that are featured are listicles, i.e. the top X best London SEO agencies. And there's two main reasons that you want to make sure you're getting featured in these. First of all, obviously, if you're featured on these, you're going to get a backlink from that website to yours on an article or a page that's about the thing that you want to rank for is going to boost your domain authority and boost your likelihood of ranking for that thing. But secondly, these listicles are being relied on by AI search engines in order to get recommendations of what should list for certain keywords. So for example, as you can see here, best SEO agency it is using these listicles as well as other websites such as Reddit, this one down here in order to pull from in order to build together this list of the best SEO agencies. Another example is if I type in best running shoes, again, if you look at what's been pulled from for the best running shoes, a lot of them are listicles. And whatever niche you're in, I want you to find the listicles that list the best X, whatever you do, and do your best in order to get featured in them. Because this is not only going to boost your rankings on Google, but it's also going to future-proof your business when it comes to the AI age and generative engine optimization which is coming, which by the way, I've done a full video on, which I'll link in the description. Now moving on to the second advanced SEO tip that I want you to know, and that is up your free tool game. Adding free tools on your website is a fantastic way in order to attract target customers, increase the dwell time on your website because people are using the free tools so they stay on the website for a long time, and also generate backlinks. And let's give you an example. This is a Hrefs free backlink checker. And when I actually see how many backlinks it has, you can see that it's got almost 20 million backlinks. Now, obviously, not all of those are going to be high quality. But when we go through, you can see 91DR, 88. They're getting links from Shopify. They're getting so many fantastic links to this free tool because free tools are link magnets. And as long as it's found by people in your industry, potentially by it ranking really well on Google, people will link to it because it's a helpful free tool that people want to point to in order to help their audience. And when I say up your free tool game, I specifically mean that you really need to take a step back and realize what new AI tools allow us to do. So for example, this is a high-end home cost calculator that I built for an architect that allows their target customers to figure out what the cost of their home might be. This is something that I built in a couple of minutes using a tool that I'll show you in a second. So these AI tools allow you to build fantastic, really beautiful free tools that you can embed onto your website in order to attract tight customers and also generate backlinks. This is another example I built. This is a friend of mine and he's got a tutoring business. And in less than 20 minutes, I built him this website and I also built him a dashboard which automatically generates an endless list of questions for his customers. And again, this is something that he could potentially share for free in order to generate backlinks and also get leads for his business. So in the next 12 months, I want you to level up your free tool game by sharing more free tools than you ever have. And you're going to be able to do that using a tool called Lovable. And Lovable is a tool that allows you to go from idea to app in seconds. You literally just type in English here and it's going to generate you stunning web apps that you can easily embed onto your website to act as those free tools. And if I've been able to create this calculator and this full dashboard with tons of different questions for all of these different subjects, if I've been able to do that in total less than an hour, think of what you're going to be able to do for your business, which can generate you free backlinks and generate you traffic and leads from your target customers. Now moving on to the third advanced SEO tip, and that is buying age domains. Now, buying age domains has been a tip that people have followed for a long time now. However, I recently applied it to my website and have massively seen the benefit. And all this is, is buying domains of either expired 
or approaching business owners that are shutting down their business or have got a business that is no longer active in order to acquire their domain and redirect it to your website. And this becomes really powerful if that domain that you buy has a ton of relevant backlinks that can help your business. To give you an example, I'm the founder of SEO Space. I built the SEO tool for Squarespace. And I recently bought this domain, squarestud.io. These were a seller of Squarespace plugins in the past. And when I went to their backlinks, they had a ton of really relevant backlinks that were about Squarespace, about Squarespace plugins from a lot of relevant websites, including some websites that are actually classed as my competitors. So buying this domain not only got me some really relevant backlinks from high authoritative sites that were writing about something that I want to be associated with, Squarespace plugins, but I also, without them knowing, got backlinks from my competitors, which has really helped me rank above them in the past couple of months. And as you can see, if I click on this domain, all I did when I bought this domain was wrote a blog about that we'd acquired that business, we'd acquired that website, and then a link through from this page to important pages on our website to essentially pass the link juice through from this domain that we bought through to this page and then the important pages on our website. So that can be a really valuable technique. Now there are a ton of websites which allow you to buy age domains, but probably the one that I've heard really good things about is Spamzilla. This isn't something that I've personally used myself when I bought expired domains. I've always done it through my contacts, which is obviously a great way in order to get deals before they actually go to the market, which might mean you have to pay a higher price. But Spamzilla is a really reputable tool that I've heard great things about. Now, moving on to the fourth advanced SEO tip, and this really is a gem because with how AI and LLMs are changing SEO, I believe that in the next 12 months, more and more people are going to be using AI search engines. And I also believe that Google is going to integrate Gemini in the top of its Google search results. And this tip is going to allow you to future proof your website when that time comes. And what I want you to do is head over to Gemini and I want you to head over to Gemini Deep Research. Now, I believe this does require you to have a paid account. However, Gemini is so powerful. And let's be honest, it has access to all of your data anyway through your Google account. So it has access to your emails, et cetera. So I believe that the results in this are only going to get better over time. And what I want you to do is when you're on deep research, type in the keyword that you want to rank for or the topic that you want to be found in. So for example, for my business SEO space, I want to be found for Squarespace SEO agency. And what Gemini Deep Research actually is, treat it almost like a PhD research student that's going to build a research plan and then go out there in order to find you the best response and information for whatever you search in. And what that means when you scroll down, as you'll see, it's put together a research plan for you. So when we go down here, you'll see it gives you all the steps that it's going to follow in order to get the best possible answer for Squarespace SEO agency. And this really is how I break down generative engine optimization or AI search engine optimization. Because as you can see here, this is telling you all the things that you need to know if you want to make sure your business gets featured in whatever you search here. So for example, for Squarespace SEO agency, it's going to search for all the SEO agencies that specialize in Squarespace websites. So you need to make sure you would rank high for whatever you're searching. It's going to identify the location of these agencies. So it's actually going to recommend you agencies that are based probably where you're based, based upon the data that it has available. Then it's going to find their websites, see if there's case studies or examples of the work with Squarespace SEO. So on my website, I would need to make sure that my case studies are front and center. And it's really clear that those case studies were on Squarespace websites. Then it's going to identify the services that we offer. So we need to make sure that they're on our website, information about pricing and how to request a quote. It's also going to look for client testimonials or reviews, specifically mentioning their Squarespace SEO expertise. And then it's going to investigate if they offer any guarantees or tailored strategies for Squarespace SEO. So this essentially gives me and would give you a checklist for what you need to do to make sure you're found in this new AI wave. So this is extremely powerful. It's something that we're doing on our website and our clients' websites. And it's an advanced tip because this is something that I haven't seen anyone else share. So make sure you make the most of it before the whole world knows. Because AI search engines are the future, which moves really well onto the fifth advanced Squarespace SEO tip. And that is stop relying on top of funnel search terms. 
in marketing, we'll typically refer to tofu, mofu, and bofu. Tofu is top of funnel. This is people that find you when they're looking for information. They're not ready to buy right now. They're purely looking for info to solve their problems, to learn more about whatever you may offer, or just learn more about the industry. So for my site, SEO space, as you can see, Squarespace website not showing up on Google. This is a top of funnel search term. And the reason why I want you to stop relying on these top of funnel search terms is because as you can see, Google is just going to carry on integrating AI overviews and very, very soon, I believe, Gemini into search results, which actually answers questions and informational search queries much better than having to click through, you know, 10 different search results. As you can see here, my website is featured here. You can see that I've actually got four YouTube videos actually featured on search results. So we've literally saturated these search results. However, with Google rolling out AI overviews and very, very soon, I believe, Gemini into search results, I just believe that for these informational queries, people are going to be relying on what's shown at the top. They're not going to be clicking through to websites and maybe not even scrolling down to the blue results that show further down. So I believe it's much better to focus on middle and bottom of funnel search terms where people are less likely to go to AI and where Google is less likely to show these AI overviews at the top. Now, of course, this doesn't mean that blogging on your website isn't helpful at all. It is still important for topical authority. And of course, you are going to get some click throughs from here. However, I would recommend first focusing on your bottom of funnel pages in order to rank for money keywords and then focusing on blog posts and informational keywords further down the line. And now, last but not least, moving on to the sixth advanced SEO tip, and that is focusing on YouTube SEO. Now, Google owns YouTube, so in my opinion, it completely makes sense that if your website has a YouTube channel associated with it and YouTube videos that are about the blog posts that are embedded, it's going to be more likely that your blog post is going to rank higher on Google or even your money pages and your service pages, it's going to boost the chances of them ranking higher on Google because Google will see that YouTube video and it's going to want its users to stay longer in the Google ecosystem. So if you've got a YouTube channel, Google is going to push you more because Google makes money through YouTube. So why wouldn't it push YouTube more? And again, just sticking on this same search term to show you an example here, as you can see, I've completely saturated this search result by doing SEO on my YouTube videos by including this keyword in the title of my YouTube videos. So YouTube SEO is an absolute gem because it's going to make your website rank higher and it's also going to give you two or maybe even more swings at the bat. And just to give you an example of what this really means, this is my YouTube analytics for the past 365 days. And as you can see, I've got a lot of views in the past 12 months. You know, I'm not saying I'm a YouTuber or anything, but what I love about YouTube is I've actually been paid three and a half thousand pounds in order to publish content that attracts target customers. So it's actually like a double whammy. I'm getting paid to attract my target customers, which on a lot of platforms is a complete opposite. If you want to run Google ads, you've got to pay to attract your target customers. But on YouTube, you actually get paid in order to get paid. So it's a really, really nice platform to be on, in my opinion, as well as the reasons I've already touched upon. But actually, if we go through the YouTube videos, which have got the most views for me in the past 12 months, you can see that pretty much all of them are about Squarespace. And this has helped position my business as a leader in the space, because not only are we discoverable online, but we're also discoverable on YouTube. And these YouTube videos are getting pulled through on AI search results as well as also being found direct on the YouTube algorithm. So for example, if I type in Squarespace SEO, you'll see that my YouTube video is featured at the top of this because I've done YouTube SEO on this by including my primary keyword in the title, in the description, in the first 20 seconds of the video, and also in the last 20 seconds of the video. So YouTube SEO has been an absolute goldmine for me, and I believe it can be for you too. And I'll give you two examples. This is a Google search console guide. And as you can see, over time, it's just got more and more views and it's only accelerating. And this was the Squarespace SEO course that I showed you before. I've been paid over a thousand pounds to get over 15,000 views. And this will have generated me potentially thousands of customers to SEO space, as well as also driving brand awareness and building an audience that I'm able to sell back to in the future. So do not sleep on YouTube SEO. I believe you should be doing what your website SEO and YouTube SEO in parallel, dedicating the same amount of resources to each. 
because this is going to future-proof your business as well as also generate consistent flows of leads over time. So there you are, guys. Those are six advanced SEO tips that you can apply to your website in the next year. If you have found this video helpful, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.